on this video I'm going to show you how to use the virtual desktop. We will be using two software programs during the, the quarter, JMP which is a stats program and NetLogo which is a um, modeling program we can run simulations on. And you can download both of these for free onto your computer um, but you don't have to. Um, you can use the virtual desktop to do that and if you have um, a Chromebook or if you're using iOS or Android as an uh, operating system then uh, you'll need to use the virtual desktop to access those files. So the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to get a to use that we're going to download a, a file um, onto you, your desktop or uh, device and so we have this this file called testfile.nlogo which is going to be a NetLogo based file but it'll produce an output file that will then open and jump so we can use both programs and so you make sure that you know how to to, to use them. So this file is located on uh, my Google Drive and so if you click on the link using your you'll have to use your um, UCR account um, to uh, to log into it, but if we click on that, it's going to be test file not in logo and and then we're just going to download it to our computer and what you just have to know where your downloads go so you can find it. You can use your find file feature to um, to locate the file if you don't know where your downloads go. Um, so then we're going to go back to our um, thing and we're going to open the uh, a port a Porto um, program um, and go to that and when the first time I, I already logged in to my portal so it's it takes me directly to this window but otherwise you would have to log in to your using your net ID. Um, what we want to do is the RDS apps here, um, the full desktop, and we're going to uh, launch that um, program, and it should pop up a, a Windows desktop. Um, as it tells us it's good. And so now we've got a Windows, basically a Windows desktop that functions pretty much. Um, like a Windows desktop and the two programs as I said we're going to be looking at are NetLogo and JMP which are right here um, on the desktop and on mine anyway. Um, so now we're going to upload our file that we're going to run and you're going to upload uh, the cloud and it's a file upload here. If we click on that then I my files on the, my desktop so I'm going to go down to test file and I'm going to upload that. And so now we've got the file on our desktop, testfile.nlogo. Um, and we're going to go into NetLogo and open NetLogo 6.1.1. Um, and we've got, it'll pop up. A window like this and if we go from there we can open a file and we can open and there's our file and we're going to open that and it's asking and talking about that, but we don't care. Um, <laughs> so it's a really simple file, and we've just opened it up. And now it's got three button. It's got a button here that you can click on, and it'll um, do something. You, this is a window that you can type numbers in, and this is a recording window that tells us how many um, individuals there are going to be on the show up on this grid. So if we type in a number say 25 um, individual and hit setup 
then 25 arrows of different colors will show up on the grid and our little window count here is basically just counting the number of arrows on the screen um, and you can um, and that that gives us an, uh, the entirety of what the program does it, except for it produces an output file uh, which just gives us information from that so it'll give us um, data on um, and so now we've got this file called test output which also shows up on our desktop there um, and it's going to record um, information about each of these individual arrows on here and each of them has a color that will be recorded in that output file as well as an energy energy level which is basically a random uh, number uh, in there so let's now let's open our t output file in JMP so we can do stats on it if we were to so desire so let's go to jump open jump and close this window um, we can we've got our test output CSV file um, there what you want to do is you you'll want to go because that's just basically a recent file but it's going to come up when you when you go to open a data file it's going to the default is to ask for all jump files this is not a jump file so we're going to go to all data files and look for that and now it's going to give us a, a, a possibility and we've got our test output file there and we, we're just going to hit open and now it opens in a new window and we can see that our 25 individuals are here um, um, each one of them has a number each one of them has a color um, if we and you can you could track them down uh, what colors the colors run from one uh, from 0 to 139 um, and you could figure out what colors there are in the net logo thing are um, looking at them there and then each of them has an energy level so for instance we could look at this if we wanted to get data about what the energy looked like if we wanted to graph it we could look at the distribution of uh, energy levels from our different um, and we hit OK. Now we've got a histogram of energy levels. Um, we can change to horizontal layout um, if we wanted to. Um, you can change the bin sizes if you if you want to do some of those kind of things. But so we this basically this distribution has a mean of 5.46 and a standard deviation of two. Um, and so. Um, that's basically the um, distribution of energy levels uh, across our 25 individuals in the, in the program. So and that's basically what we're um, what we want you to do this first week is to be able to uh, open those programs if you were going to download them onto your computer to download them um, and make sure that you can uh, use utilize each of those programs this first week so that when you need to use them, you will be able to do so. Um, so that is it.